Oh, guys, last time we have showed the structure of FID reverse shear system. You would deeply know how it working. At that session, we will indicate how to install this part into your car. Okay, let's begin right now. First of all, take the catch bell apart, just like this engineer did. Remove the agent, central differential gear, brackets from the car, just like the engineer did. Prepare the wheel holder, which will be installed already just like this way. Then, pull into the car, twist the screw, and don't forget the back side by the way. Gearbox. At first, these two brake discs should be placed down the outer side of the gear. And another one should you do also. Make sure it be placed properly. And put the brake pass into the right way of course. It's a little harder to do it, so you need a little bit of patience here. And insert the brake lever into the brake pass here. This is the gear shift. At the first, the tobacco should be connected to the gear shift, just like that. Don't forget there have two any loose group exists. Insert the shift into the gear sider at the same line, and make sure this could be able to slide smoothly. Now, this is the agent turn. Nothing special about this step. Just let the throttle cap or your pipe on the right way like the original settings. But the gear clearance between the couch and the gear box should have a little bit distance. Use the A4 paper to separate them. When you install agent, it would be an easy way to get a perfect setting. Finally, install this cover to it. So far, the mechanical module installation has been all finished here. Then, they only have one thing this to do, that is the stern gear settings. We use the third channel to control it. You can use the third or fourth, whatever. There is one thing in particular, please pay attention. The default shift must be forward, so that the raw should be inserted into the gearbox. And lock off the stern gear. If you heard sound of music here when you lock off, don't worry about it. It's the same deal did. So, pick out the remote. For example, enter the receive mode of 4PLS. Choose EPAU and EPAD options. Make the value to a right number until the noise disappeared. Until now, it's all finished it here. The Lossy 5T has a new ability that could make you feel good. Alright, let's start the agent. <laughs> 